in our previous video, I showed you how I like to create handmade messy wrapping paper. And today I want to show you what you can do with a lot of scraps, either left over from that messy paper or even from your own store-bought wrapping. It never fails when I go to wrap a present that I am out of ribbon or bows. And this is a really fun little trick that you can use if you've got a lot of excess scraps and paper around. So I'm going to be using a variety of different sizes of strips to create these bows. I'm actually going to let you watch me work through this process a number of times, hoping that it becomes clear as you watch me do this over and over again. But I like starting with strips anywhere from three quarters to one inch wide, and then anywhere from 11 inches tall to maybe eight inches. The bigger the strip, the larger the bow is going to be. The smaller the strip and skinnier it is, the tinier you can go. And what I like to do is is to alter the sizes of my strips. So often I will have two longer strips and then I will have two more little medium sized strips where I shave off the edge just a little bit. And because this process is pretty informal for me, I tend to eyeball any of the measurements and cuts that I'm making. So I will start with two long strips. I might cut about a quarter inch off of two more, making them smaller, and then cut another half an inch off of the remaining strips that are smaller. These strips are going to be what we turn into the bows. So you need some longer strips to create the outside of that bow and then smaller as you get closer and closer to the inside of the bow. Once you get comfortable with the process, you can really play around with maybe smaller bows, shorter strips, really big bows created from long, chunky strips of paper. You can really play around with this process and come up with some interesting bows. The next step is to start bending our paper into that bow-like shape. So this is going to be very hard for me to describe in words, especially since I'm a really visual person. So I'm hoping that by watching me do this, you're able to see the way that I am bending things. But you'll notice I am taking one end and wrapping it over itself, taking the opposite end and doing the same thing. And then I add a dab of hot glue underneath each of the ends. So once again, I am bending each end and letting them meet in the middle attaching them with that hot glue. And you're gonna notice the end result kind of looks like some version of a bow missing that middle. But these are all the elements that we are going to eventually stack on top of each other, which will create our gift bow. We're gonna do this over and over again in all the different sizes of strips. What you're gonna notice is the shorter those strips get, the smaller those little bows are. Until you've got some really tiny little bows or little half bows that will eventually end up being the middle of your entire gift bow. Now something to keep in mind, especially as you're watching me work through this, is that at any point it feels like you want to bulk up that bow or you want to add more to the back if you want to add more to the middle. If you create a bow and it looks a little wonky, you can always correct things by adding more of these little pieces to your bow. And you're going to watch me do that. I've found that things can get wonky with scrap paper or even messy paper. I'm using my own scissors and not a paper cut so my scraps are a little bit imperfect but if at any point things are not looking the way you want them to you can always bulk them up or add to some of the sides or edges of things the next step is to start just layering everything and you're gonna start with the longer bows and start adding those strips that you've turned into bows to the top and you can alter the direction of those edges so you'll notice I have some that are diagonal I have some that are opposite of the one before and this is how you build out that gift bow it's really easy once you get the hang of it I actually can sit down and in an hour knock out a whole bunch of these bows and have a bunch of them to use in my gift wrapping process but the first couple tries takes a little practice things can get a little tricky here and there but I promise if you practice it a couple times you'll probably be able to master this really quickly now the fun thing about this process is you can really get creative with the paper that you use for those bows. Often when you're buying bows from the store, they are maybe red, green, they come in solid colors, and they all tend to look 
pretty similar. But you can use your own artwork, you can use patterned paper. I really love using my own pattern pages. I will often scan one of my favorite doodles or drawings and then print out black and white copies and then use those sheets of paper for my bows. I have found that thinner paper works a lot better for this process. So my butcher paper works perfect, printer paper works perfect, craft paper works really, really great, and of course, old wrapping paper or upside Recycled, recycled wrapping paper works well. But I love that you can take different types of paper, different scraps you might have around the house, and quickly transform them into a neat, unique bow. If you're somebody that really enjoys gift wrapping and you enjoy personalizing your gift wrap for the holidays or people's birthdays, I think this is a fun way to really put your own twist and add more creativity to the gift wrapping process. What I also love about it is it's a great way to upcycle or recycle other materials. I am that person in the family who saves gift wrap, who puts it away. I use it in my art journaling process. I use it for collage. I will often recycle old gift wrap and paint over the top of it, and I will use it for this process during holidays or birthdays. It's such a fun way to really make use of things that might otherwise get thrown away. So the edges or the cuttings of store-bought wrapping paper, often you are left with kind of weird wonky sizes that maybe won't fit a gift are great things to use for your creative projects or for something like this. And while I know that it often might feel easier to run to the store and grab a bag of bows, and I'm not judging anybody out there that does that, but I think if you are somebody who enjoys recycling, upcycling, or putting a creative twist on something you might not typically be able to find in a store, this is a fun way to really play around with the way that you do gift wrapping during the holidays or any time of the year if you're needing to give a gift. So what I'm going to do is let you all watch me work through a handful more bows. I'll meet you back at the end of this video so you can see how I like to put them to use in my wrapping.
right, so there you have it. I have a big collection of handmade gift bows all ready for my gift wrap. Now, something I really enjoy doing is mixing them up with my wrapping paper. So sometimes I will use my messy bows or bows that are made from hand-painted paper. I'll use them in combination with store-bought wrapping paper. Sometimes I will use just plain or more simple bows on my messy wrapping. I really have fun mixing patterns, mixing things up, and really getting creative with how everything looks when I am wrapping stuff. And since I started making bows like this about 10 years ago, I've never turned back. I don't end up buying store-bought bows because these are so easy to make and such a great way to get creative as well as put scraps to use. So I'm hoping this inspires you all and maybe you want to try your hand at making some handmade gift bows with all that extra wrap, extra paper you might have on hand.